Welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how I repair old plaster that's fallen off the wall. As you can see, I'm pulling in these big sheets of drywall. They're uh, 3 eighths of an inch thick, which I find that in this house, the 3 eighths is the perfect size for whoever did the plaster in this house. So as you can see right here, I am measuring out the um, size of patch I'm going to do. I already measured out roughly the size of the patch and I'm just kind of cutting it down to a good square shape. So I'm just breaking the edge and I don't really know exactly how to break the edge the best. I see some people snapping it certain ways. I haven't done too much drywall to really know. but. So I got my width there, and right now I'm marking my height. So this is just a predetermined height that I measured off the wall. And in a couple of frames, you're going to see the um, actual hole that I'm going to try to patch. So right there, I'm just pulling off the top there that I just scored. Perfect. And now you can see that large piece of plaster that's fallen off, and you can see all the laths there. And using this 3 8 size drywall, it's about the same thickness as the plaster that's on there. So I'm just trying to get this piece of drywall up there, kind of fit squarely in there. And right there's the nail stopping me from getting that slid in there. So, but I'm just trying to get that piece of drywall on that wall, just lined, just lined up so I can mark of where I need to cut this drywall or plaster rather. So I'm lining it up, trying to just get it nice and wedged in there. Pull it up, and I had to fight with this for quite a few minutes. And right here I am marking on the actual plaster wall of what is square, because none of these walls are actually square anymore. Everything's moved around. So just marking here. So I got a nice good mark and I pull off my piece of drywall. Don't do what I'm about to do. Expert move only. So I found this is uh, the quickest way for me to cut a line, but uh, it is certainly dangerous because I'm using a skill saw to cut uh, concrete. So I pulled down the volume here so it isn't too jarring. You can see a lot of smoke. And so as I'm cutting here, the smoke really makes it hard for me to see my line. And uh, halfway through, I kind of stop and let that smoke go. But if I'm trying to keep this line as straight as possible so I can slide in this piece of drywall there. And I'm scoring this line so when I pull off the, dr the plaster, it'll have a nice square line for my drywall and the plaster to meet. So right there, I'm trying to get that smoke out of there. And okay, so I can see it a little better now. And re-engage. You gotta make sure to wear a mask. I don't think this is a good enough mask for this anyways. Get my safety squints going. I kind of stop it a little bit to let all the dust go. And then I go inch forward. I'll stop a little bit, let the dust go so I can see my line. And inch forward a little bit here. So just slowly working up. Just a little bit here and there. And I set my depth of my blade here to the perfect 3 eighths of an inch depth for the plaster. So it just goes deep enough, but it's not hitting any of the laths or anything. Because I'm leaving all the laths on there. They make a good structure behind it. So I'm leaving all those there. And I'm just slowly working up there. And get all that dust out of that saw and it's a bad blade anyway so it's just I've been just using that blade for cutting there you can see how straight ish of a line I made and if I get behind here you can see that the plaster is just falling off and if I can just that line right there makes it so the plaster stops falling off of that line I can kind of just yank it off there all that demi lamination is just right. causing more issues so you just got to pick a spot to stop it and that spot's actually right on a stud, so I can put my piece of drywall at the edge right on a stud and have everything straight and secure. 
you gotta be real careful that you don't go too far and have the uh, other plaster on the other side of the line fall off. It's just careful and slowly working at it. Different ways to go about it. You can get some chisels and stuff. Just pulling it off. A little piece by little piece. Go real slow. That way you can leave on the good plaster and take off the bad plaster. And you guys scrape off the all the extra plasters on the wall. Because you want the wall to be nice and clean and flat. Now here I am trying to slide that piece on there. And it's probably going to be, probably have some sort of rocks below or something. Something that's not going to line up. But I'll figure it out eventually. Slide it in there. Decent fit. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and then I'm just going to slide on these screws here. It's ready to tape in mud. So that's how you make a uh, Indiana patch on a plaster wall right there. You can see it looks pretty good and I get a close-up view here and you can see how good of a line it's flat. You can hear my hand rubbing across. So you're just able to tape that down and mud it and it'll be good as new. That'll be enough to put some mud and feather that out perfect nice two joining piece if you notice this is the uh, factory edge so it's rounded right here so hopefully it'll stick as good as it can look at that it's good well thank you and um, if you enjoyed this make sure to uh, like and subscribe